Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about well-formed formulas in discrete mathematics course. It is one of the most commonly asked questions in discrete mathematics. In this video, we have to study about three things. First of all, what is well-formed formulas? What is the rules we have to follow to check whether the given formula is well-formed formula or not? Third one is some examples on well-formed formulas. Let us consider two statements P and Q where P is 2 is a prime number and Q is 4 is an even number. Okay, so P is one statement and Q is another statement. From these two statements, we have to write statement formulas. What is statement formula? A statement formula is an expression which is a string consists of statement variables, connectives and parentheses. So, whenever these three things contained by any formula, that formula is called as statement formula. Okay. So, from these two statements, we have to write some statement formulas. So, first one is P and Q. Check whether it is a statement formula or not. So, here P and Q are two statement variables and is logical connective and parenthesis also there. Hence, we can say that it is a statement formula. Next one, this is also a statement formula where P and Q are statement variables, R is the connective and this is the parenthesis. Next one, This is also a statement formula. Here P and Q are statement variables. So this is conditional connective and parenthesis is also there. Next one, P by conditional Q. So this is also a statement formula where P and Q are statement variables. This is a biconditional connective and parenthesis also there. Okay. So, a recursive definition of statement formula is called as well-formed formula. So, that means a well-formed formula consists of statement variables, connectives and parenthesis. So, any statement formula contains a statement variables, connective and parenthesis, that statement formula is called as well-formed formula. A well-formed formula can be generated by using the following rules. So, the first rule is a statement variable standing alone is a well-formed formula. So, that means P is a statement variable it is a standing alone. It can also be called as well-formed formula. And Q is also a well-formed formula. A statement variable standing alone only is also a well-formed formula. Example, P is a well-formed formula and Q is also a well-formed formula. Second one is if A is a well-formed formula, then negation A is also a well-formed formula. So, here P is a well-formed formula. So, then negation P is also a well-formed formula. So, Q is a well-formed formula. Then negation Q is also a well-formed formula. Okay. Next, third rule. If A and B are well-formed formulas, then A and B, A R B, A conditional B, 
A condi A by conditional B are also well formed formulas. Example, so P and Q are well formed formulas then so P and Q with parenthesis is also a well formed formula. P R Q is also a well formed formula with parenthesis. Next P conditional Q with parenthesis is also a well formed formula. P by conditional Q with parenthesis is also a well formed formula. Next fourth rule a string of symbols containing the statement variables connectives and parenthesis is a well formed formula. So statement variables connective and parenthesis. So then we can say that it is a well formed formula. So these are the four rules we are using to check whether the given statement formula is a well formed formula or not. Okay. Next we can go for some examples to check whether the given formula is a well formed formula or not. Now check whether the following formulas are well formed formulas or not. The first one is negation of P and Q. So we have to check whether each and every one contains a statement variables, connectives and parenthesis. Then we can say that it is a statement formula. That statement formula is also called as well formed formulas. Here consider the first example P and Q are two statement variables and is the logical connective. Negation is also a logical connective and open parenthesis close parenthesis is also there. So we are matching both open parenthesis and close parenthesis also. So it satisfies all the conditions of well formed formula. Hence we can say that it is a well formed formula. It is a well formed formula. Next consider the second example. Negation of P or Q. So here P and Q are two statement variables. Negation and R are the connectives and open parenthesis, closed parenthesis is also there. So it is a well formed formula. Next, so consider the third example. So negation P and Q. Okay, so here P and Q are statement variables. Negation and and are the connectives, but parenthesis is not there. Okay, so not a well formed formula. Not a well formed formula. Because parenthesis is missing. Next, go for the fourth one. P conditional Q and and Q. So here P conditional Q, P and Q are two statement variables. Conditional is a connective and open parenthesis, close parenthesis. So up to this point, it is a well formed formula. So conditional and Q. So here and Q is not a well formed formula. Suppose it is a negation Q, it is a well formed formula. Because negation Q is a well formed formula. So this formula put in open parenthesis, close parenthesis. So it is a well formed formula if and connective is replaced by negation. Okay, so because of that reason, it is not a well formed formula. Not a so well formed formula because and Q is not a well formed formula. Next, go for the fifth one. P conditional P or Q 
is a well formed formula or not here up to this point p and q are statement variables r is a connective and p r q put in parenthesis so that up to this point it is a well formed formula p is also a well formed formula entire formula can be put in parenthesis so that we can say that it is a well formed formula next next for example is p conditional q conditional r here q and r are the two statement variables and conditional is a connective so q conditional r put in parenthesis so that up to this point it is a well formed formula next p is a well formed formula and connective is also there and total formula is enclosed within open parenthesis and close parenthesis so that it is a well formed formula next example so p conditional q here p and q are two statement variables and a conditional is a connective but only open parenthesis is there close parenthesis is not there so that we can say that not a well formed formula not a well formed formula next example so p and q conditional q so here p and q are two statement variables and is a connective up to this point open parenthesis close parenthesis up to this point it is a well formed formula so after combining conditional q so here q is also a well formed formula but here only close parenthesis is there but open parenthesis one more open parenthesis is missing so that we can say that not a well formed formula because one open parenthesis is missing next last one so here p q r are the three statement variables here p conditional q conditional is a connective so both p conditional q enclosed within open parenthesis and close parenthesis okay here q and r the r are the statement variables conditional is a connective so this entire formula is enclosed within parenthesis so that this is also a well formed formula after combining these two formulas so this is also a well formed formula this is also a well formed formula the total formula enclosed within open parenthesis and close parenthesis so up to this this is a well formed formula next so here p and r are the statement variables conditional is a connective this is open parenthesis and this is close parenthesis so this is also a well formed formula so after combining this well formed formula this well formed formula with connective by conditional so this formula and this formulas are enclosed within open parenthesis and close parenthesis so parentheses are also matching so that we can say that so it is a well formed formula it is a well formed formula okay so compulsory the entire formula should be within the parenthesis and count the open parenthesis and closing parenthesis if any open parenthesis is there but closing parenthesis is not there hence we can say that it is not a well formed formula so closing parenthesis is there but open parenthesis is not there it is it is not a well formed formula okay so now consider this example in this one so only open parenthesis is there but closing parenthesis is not there so because of that reason it is not a well formed 
formula. Here also up to this point, up to this point, this is a well-formed formula. After combining this formula with this formula, here closing parenthesis is there, but opening parenthesis is missing. Because of that reason, it is not a well-formed formula. Next one, consider this one. Here, both open parenthesis and close parenthesis are missing. Hence, we can say that it is not a well-formed formula. Here, only and Q is not a well-formed formula. In the place of and, negation is there. Hence, we can say that it is a well-formed formula. And Q is not a well-formed formula. Okay. So, to become third example is a well-formed formula. So, negation P and Q, this entire statement formula put in open parenthesis and close parenthesis. Hence, we can say that it is a well-formed formula. Well-formed formula. Next one is, fourth one. So, fourth one is, so P conditional Q, conditional, so negation Q is there. Hence, it becomes a, it becomes a well-formed formula. So here, negation Q is also a well-formed formula, put in parenthesis. This one is also a well-formed formula. The total formula is enclosed within open parenthesis and closed parenthesis. Hence, we can say that this is a well-formed formula. And next one, seventh one is, so P conditional Q. Open parenthesis and closed parenthesis, enclosed within open parenthesis and closed parenthesis. This is a well formed formula. And eighth one is so P and Q conditional Q put in open parenthesis and closed parenthesis. So this is a well formed formula. So, this is the simple definition of well-formed formula and what are the rules we have to follow for well-formed formula and some examples on to check whether the given formula is a well-formed formula or not. So, thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. And please subscribe my YouTube channel, so Divela Srinivasarao. Please forward these videos to your friends and classmates after subscribing my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you one and all for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts.